Hello guys, welcome to the 12th session of Blazor Tutorials for Beginners. In this session, we will see how to bind data and component. Data binding allows us to bind both components and DOM elements. Let's create a folder for session 12. Add a new component, one-way binding. Add a page directive for this component. In this example, I will create a form to obtain full name and age and display its value in the labels. Let's add properties for those private string full name and set Bill Gates as default string. Create age with the default value of 63. Let's create form group. Add label for full name. Add input for text. Set value from full name. Now copy and paste for age. Update the label text and value. Create a p tag and display the values of both variables. Now let's save and run the project. Open that page. Here we got values of full name and age in form control as well as in paragraph tag. Now let's update value of full name, but still it doesn't update back value in property and here in paragraph. This is called one-way binding. Blazor also supports two-way binding. For the two-way binding, we need to use the bind attribute. Currently, binding is only supported by string, integer, date, time, enum, and boolean. Now, let's update this example to support two-way binding. Create a new component, two-way binding. Copy paste this code. Update page directive and heading. Instead of using the value attribute here, we need to use the bind attribute. Now save it and run the project. Open two-way binding page. Let's change name to Satya Nadella and age to 51. On focus, lost values of those inputs are also reflected in paragraph. Here it fires event on focus lost, but we can also change this event. Use bind value attribute to set field which value need to bind. Use bind value event to specify the event on which binding will update. Let's use on input event. It will update the value on changing the text for input instead of focus lost. Now run the project. and refresh the page. Now change the name. Paragraph text also updated here without changing focus. Till now we have used a string and integer values but we can also use date time, enum and boolean. Let's use date time for obtaining birth date. I am assigning default values. Copy paste this form group. 
Now update label text and IDs. Also a display selected the date here. Here we will use input type text instead of date. Also display selected date in the paragraph. Now run the project. And refresh the page. Let's update value and it updated on focus lost. Here it displays date with time but if you want to display just date not time. For this we need to use binding format again. Here I am specifying ddmmyy format. You can use any valid format here. Now restart project execution. Now refresh the page and change the value. It will reflect changes here properly. Now let us see what we have learned in this session. Binding allows us to bind both components and DOM elements. There are two types of bindings, one-way binding and two-way bindings. For the one-way binding, we just need to use field name or property name directly. And for the two-way binding, we need to use the bind attribute. Field or property set in bind attribute will reflect changes on focus loss. Using bind value, we can specify the field name. And with bind value event, we can change event on which binding will reflect changes. Using binding format, we can change the format for date time. Here is one way binding example. And here is two way binding example that we have created in this session. Thanks for watching this video. If you have any doubts, please feel free to contact me. Have a nice day.